Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. Today, you'll learn how to make a cool wave effect in Scratch. Let's get right into it. First, you're going to want to make a new sprite and paint it. This is going to be the first layer of waves. So we're going to want to have like multiple wave layers. I'm going to do three, so that adds depth. So for the first one, it's just going to be nice and small. First, just start off with lines and just zigzag lines. And these are not the final waves, so don't worry if they don't look like waves right now. So then once you do that, you can go ahead and just go under here, way out of sight, connect it, connect it back up. Now you can fill it with whatever color you want. I'm gonna do blue, of course, and make it like light. Okay, now to make it actually look like waves, go to this tool, which just edits lines, Click on each of the peaks, select curved, and then you can turn this and that makes it look like a wave. And you can vary it by pulling it more, pulling it less, pulling it the opposite way, just whatever looks good to you. So there's that first layer of waves. Doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't need to be. Now let's just code it. When green flag clicked, forever. We're gonna make a new variable and call it timer. This is gonna be a timer, of course, that will determine uh, how much up and down it moves. So set timer to zero. Then forever change timer by like two or three, I'm gonna do three. The more it is, the faster it'll move up and down. So now, what we need to do is add the movement block, which is gonna be set Y2. This is where the trigonometry comes in. So multiply, the more this number is that you're multiplying the sign by, the more exponentially it will move. Up front, it should be smaller than the ones in the back for added 3D effect. I'm gonna do like 25. And then grab this block, that the abs of, absolute value, but change it to sine or sin. And then in this, you're going to want to do timer. So now if we run this, you'll see it moves up and down. Up and down. So now if we just duplicate this, we have another layer. But because Scratch is weird and offsets it, we're going to need to, at the start, make it go to zero, zero. And since this is another one, we need to remove the change timer block or else it will be going up by six each time and that will be way too fast. So now we can go ahead and just to make it easier and not look as fake, delete this and make more lines. And you want these to go up a lot higher than this so it, you can actually see them. I'm gonna have it go like that, there. Maybe some short ones, dips down, go like another way up one, and then shallow to finish it off. And then just like before, go down, connect, go back up so we can fill it. Fill it with another color. I'm gonna make it darker than the one over in the front to make it look like it's further back. And do, this, do the same thing with the line editing to make it look like waves. So there's that. It obviously isn't good at all, actually. It's one of the worst ones I've done. But it's still something, and something is better than nothing, I guess. So now we have that. We just need to, if we run this, we'll see they move just exactly in sync. And that is not very pretty. So if we change this number to a bigger number to make it move faster, 35, make it go up by 10, now we can see that that one moves up a bit higher and so it adds more depth. So now we're just gonna do that for one more. You can do as many as you want, but I'm just gonna do one more. Delete it, make more. I'm gonna try to make it better this time. Always saying something considering my art skills. And 
and then fill it. I'm going to use something darker. And that looks cool. I'm going to actually make it even more dark. So there's that. And then do the lines. And there's that. So now, just like before, make this even bigger. I'm going to make it 45 just to go up by 10. Then run it. And yeah, there's some nice looking waves. If you want, you can even add more at a background. I don't know. But if you send in your project, the link in the comments, I'll check it out. And maybe you might get featured in the next video. And speaking of which, I have a Discord server. You can join it, share ideas, get help, maybe even get a shout out. Like the shout out I'm giving today. This shout out is going to drawing 246911. He boosted the server and is part of the Discord server. His scratch is the same as this, so go check him out. Really good. If you join the Discord server, I don't know, you might get a shout out too. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.